Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Waga. We are going to continue with our series on views in SwiftUI. And what we're going to look at today is how to overlay an image with, um, like for example, you could put an icon on top of an image or text or something like that. So we'll be looking at how we can overlay images, right? And um, I thought it to be, I thought to make this video separate from the image video, if you just want to look at the image video. But here we're going to deal with overlays. So what we're going to do is first, I have come to my assets folder and I have put in place a picture of a lion, right? And um, what we could do is we could come here to the text and in the text, we could have an image and we pass in the name of our image. In this case, our image is a lion like so, and we could hit resume, give ourselves a bit more real estate here and here. And of course the image is a bit, um, it's too light for our view. And one thing we could do is we could use the resizable, like so, uh, resizable. And after that we could go, we could choose the aspect ratio, aspect ratio, and we could use, um, if you want to know what all this, what all this means, um, just check out my video on images. I explain each one of them. Right now we're going to concentrate on the overlay, right? So, and we're going to give it a frame, a frame afterwards, and we could say the width, the width of the frame is going to be, let's say 400, like so. And um, we're going to give it a clip shape. Let's give it a clip shape. And um, the clip shape we're going to give it is going to be circle, circle shape. I have a video on shapes also, so you might want I don't know if I've, I would release it first. I already made the video, but I don't know whether I release it first or before that. But yeah, I have a video on this, on this coming up or already on the, on the list of videos, right? I like doing all my videos first and then releasing them one at a go. So basically, yeah, so I have a video explaining all about the shapes and the various shapes. You could make this rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, uh, what other one, capsule. Let's make it a capsule. Instead, let's say capsule like so. Okay, capsule is a bit, would be a bit, it's a bit too much. Let's go for circle. Okay, circle. So yeah, and afterwards we could put the overlay where we could put something on top of it, right? Um, an overlay is basically you add another a layer to an image or text. You you add a layer of an image or a text on top of an image, right? Um, yeah, and it's added by the modifier, as you may have guessed. The modifier is called overlay. Overlay, like so. And um, the, the modifier is called overlay. And inside the overlay, we could have uh, what it expects is a view. So we could say image, and we're going to have a thumbs up sign. So it's going to be an image, and we're going to get it from the SF symbols. And this is going to be system name. The system name is going to be, I think I, I have forgotten it. Let me just look at it. Uh, there's this app that can show you SF symbols, right? And we should say, let's look for thumb. I know it's hand thumb or some hand thumbs up, hand thumbs up dot fill. Okay. We could say hand dot thumbs up, like so. Uh, we put in the system name and we could make the font. Let's make the font larger. So we could say dot font. The font is going to be dot system name the system name is going to be size and uh, the size is going to be 50 let's make it 50 like so and um it's complaining it's saying it has too many yeah let's get rid of that um too many curly brackets and after that we're going to make the the after giving it the font we're going to have a foreground color remember um uh, an SF symbol can be treated just like a uh, text, so you could put a foreground color to make the color at the front look a certain way. So the foreground color could be dot, let's make it black so that you can see it. We say black and um, you could even add opacity if you want. Remember this guy, this would be, is built from the, what's it called, from the SF symbols. San Francisco is from the SF um, font, right? So it can be used exactly like a font. So we could say an opacity, let's say 0.6, right? So we could say 60%, 0 0.6, like so. So let's try again. And we can see our thumb. We might want to make it, okay. Um, thumbs up dot fill. Let's see how dot fill looks like. Okay, yeah, we can put, that's how you would put maybe, um, 
he would put a what's it called a, a thumb on top of the on top of the image like so let us continue now the next thing uh, we could do is we could use an overlay to darken an image right to make it a bit darker look a bit darker uh, another thing we could want to do is maybe um, put text on top of an image right we could write here lion across instead of putting the thumbs up sign and I think that's what we're going to that's what we're going to do right and um let's get rid of this let's just restart it uh let's just have an image of the lion like so and um what we would want to do of course is to resize it we'd say resizable like so and after that we give it an aspect ratio aspect ratio we're going to say um it's going to be dot fit make it fit there um in the space and afterwards we're going to give it a frame uh let's give it a frame and oh god it has too many options we just wanted to, we just want to give it width so i don't can get rid of the rest of this let's just give it a width of um let's say 400 400 like so and after we give it a width of it's 400 too much i think 400 is too much so let's give it a width of 250 oh no not 2500 250 so yeah we give it a width of 250 and afterwards we put an overlay we could put an overlay and the overlay is going to be we could make it rectangular right um and for that you just pass in the rectangle shape like so and um it can the rectangle can have a foreground color and you can make it black and dot black remember when you're using um foreground color it expects the color therefore you don't have to say color dot black you can just say black like so and afterwards you could do you could use, give it an opacity now the opacity is going to be let's say 50 percent 0 0.5 um why is it complaining? Okay, yeah. So now we put the opacity, it's a bit dark. Let's make it 0.3. It's too dark. Let's make it 0.3. Okay, fine. Fine. We have made that. Um, so that is, for example, how you might want to put the opacity. Let's make it 35, 0 0.35. 35%. So okay, I can't tell the difference. But yeah, so that's how you would want to put maybe the opacity. Uh, 0 0.35. Now next, you might want to put maybe the... Let's add another overlay on our overlay and say, um, let's put in a text, it's expects a view. So you could take, put in a text and it's going to be the name. Let's put the name Leon. And um, for the font, we want it to be dot font. Uh, we could make it dot title, the title like so. Okay. And it needs to be, um, it needs to be white, right? So we could say, the foreground color is going to be dot white like so yep and um yeah and we could give it uh should we give it a, a width no that's fine let's make this 300 let's make it 350 okay yeah so basically if you wanted for example to put um a text first you have darkened it by using a an overlay of a rectangle to darken it, right? We use uh, the foreground color with the black and the opacity is 35% and that's how you darken it. And then we put another overlay on that, on top of that overlay of a text of lion, for example. That is how you put maybe the word lion on top of the image if you want. And um, you can play around with it. You can add more modifiers, just treat it as, a, treat it as any other text. And yeah, that's how you do it. So basically, that's how you would add overlays to images. They can be used to create um, radical and different effects. And yeah, thank you for watching the channel. Sub uh, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, leave a comment in the comment section if you have any. And I will see you in the next SwiftUI view. Thank you.